Hi everybody, Alex the Ployer from Expert Forex and in this video I want to give you some ideas on how to activate a trailing stop when trading MetaTrader. We've had a lot of questions about this because I trade trailing stops with every single transaction that I enter using the channel trading method and using the RSI trend line method. So let's have a look at how you do this. So I have a video published recently talking about trailing stops and strategies for using trailing stops. So I go into quite a bit of detail about what trailing stops do and how they work. So I'm not going to repeat that information there. Please use the link provided there or just search on my channel that you'll find this video. The type of search terms that you'd use is expert forex trailing stops and you'll immediately find this video. So let's look at the importance of trailing stops. Here I have a live trade that I did on my live account where I there was a nice channel. I entered the breakout of the channel and established a target over there and a stop was, was probably over here somewhere and the transaction activated quite nicely went positive almost hit the target and then came back and i had a following stop there's the following stop or trailing stop that activated and then took me out at a nice profit but luckily it did because look what happened later the price just plummeted down and a transaction that could have been 100 pip positive could have now have been 80 pips negative. So you don't want that to ever happen. So trailing stops really are pretty handy at times. Okay, so let's have a look at today's transactions that I have going on my live account. And the first thing I want to show you is that when you have your trailing stop activated, you have a yellow block active under your stop loss. If you don't want to have one active, it is just plain like that. So let's have a look at the USD Yen. Because that is blank, I don't have a trailing stop activated. That's a mistake. I should have one activated. The target for this particular transaction is 200 pips. So I want a trailing stop to start kicking in when the price reaches 100. So how do I do that? What I do is I right click on that block where the stop loss is. It then brings up a, a, a lot of alternatives, but I select trailing stop and I select custom. Now the trick here is this is in points, not in pips. So if I want a 100 pip stop, I need to put a uh, trailing stop, I need to put a thousand points to enter that deal. So now what will and then i just click ok now can you see that changes immediately to yellow showing that this transaction has a trailing stop so how will that trailing stop work firstly uh it's a 200 pip target as the when the price reaches 100 pips it will activate a trailing stop and as the price moves towards the target that trailing stop will follow it by 100 pips if it starts coming back, the trailing stop will stay in place. If it continues, it will then move up to make sure that the distance between the trailing stop and the price is never bigger than 100 pips. So that's basically how the trailing stop works. And that's how you activate it when you have an active deal. Now let's have a look at the case where we don't have an active deal. And now here's the Aussie. I'm going to do it on the Aussie USD trade. That's a pending order waiting. And I'm going to put in a trailing stop on this particular deal. So I have my stop in place. I right click. I go to trailing stop. I click on custom and this particular deal is a 100 pip target. So I want to have a trailing stop that kicks in after 50 pips. So I go 500 because that's in points. So then I click OK. Now the, the, the problem is you, it doesn't actually change color or anything. So because it's a pending order, you don't get that yellow. But I have now put in a trailing stop on this particular deal. So essentially, in order to put a trailing stop in, you have to have either a pending order active or a an active trade. And once you have that, all you do is you right click on 
the stop and you put your trailing stop in. Now one very important point that I must make before we finish the, this video is that you must be aware that the trailing stop on MT4 lives on your computer at home. It does not live on your account with your Forex broker. So if you put a trailing stop in your account at home, you have to keep the connection to your broker's server active. It's a bit like an EA. You've got to be able to allow your computer at home to talk to your account on your broker's server so that the instructions from your trailing stop get activated. If you put a trailing stop on and just close your account at home, the, your broker will not know to move your stop up as the price is moving up. So the trailing stop does act work like an EA. You have to keep your account connected or open to the internet so that the trailing stop can give instructions to your, your account on your broker's server. Now they're pretty handy as I've shown you. So I hope I've given you some ideas on how you can so easily activate a trailing stop using the MT4 functionality. If you have any questions or comments or any other functionality of MT4 that you need more details on, please leave that in the comments facility and I will make a video to show you how that particular functionality could work for you. So if you haven't joined my channel, please join my channel for regular market analysis and forex trading tips. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.